Remember the magic. Disney's Animal Kingdom wash cycle. So what about the spin cycle? Well, that's back in Dinoland, USA. And it goes by the name of Prime Evil World. And don't let the smiling dinosaurs fool you. Because you can get all messed up doing that spinny spin spin thing. You know what I'm saying? Hey, once your vision returns to normal, check out Dinosaur. Blast back in time and try and save the last dinosaur from extinction. Except there's this big cousin to the T-Rex called a Carnotaurus. What the slap you on a plate and soft you up with a biscuit. Chomp, chomp. Last stop for thrills, Epcot. Two little ditties to add to your repertoire here. First one's called Test Track. Number one racer. And it ain't no Sunday drive either. Your ride car is a car, a test car, which gets put through the paces at a state-of-the-art General Motors testing facility. One of my favorite parts, banking that hairpin turn. This thing rocks. Chickity, check it out. Whoa! 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 That's what I'm talking about. All right, the grande finale of Walt Disney World Thrill Rides, which also happens to be the latest and the greatest. Disney calls it the most incredible thrill ride they've ever created. Presenting Mission Space. This thing is so stinking sweet, even the pre-show gets me pumped. Mission Space is a white knuckle thrill ride to the red planet. And it's got enough force to suck the gravity up through your big toe and shoot it out through your nostrils. Come on, let's hit it. Factor's pretty high, dudes. All right, everybody, there they are, the thrills at Walt Disney World. Thanks for hanging with me and checking them all out. Hang loose and have a good time. Ah! Ah! That was a rush. Stacy here, and if you're coming to the Walt Disney World Resort with little guys like this, you are in for a treat. You see, for little kids, there's no line between make-believe and reality. You gotta stay in line! First off, let me talk to you about where to stay. Take my advice. Make it a Disney resort. You will thank me every single night of your vacation. These resorts are super convenient. Disney transportation connects you to all the magic. And it's great to be able to zip away to your resort for a nap or a splash in the pool. And if you can, take the monorail. As a Disney resort guest, you can also take advantage of the extra magic hours benefit. That's a benefit that gives you more time for fun. Each day, one of the Disney theme parks opens an hour early or stays open up to an extra three hours in the evening so you can enjoy select attractions. It's a great time for little ones to avoid all the hubbub and get some VIP time with characters. You can find out more about all this stuff on the planning special feature and on the CD-ROM. All set for some fun? Great. There's someone I want you to meet before we hit the parks. Hey, Goofy! Believe it or not, this guy can be a little intimidating to a two or three year old. But trust me, once they get to know him, they'll be like old pals. <laughs> so what I like to do is sign up for a Disney character breakfast early on in the vacation. 
It's the best way for your little ones to get used to the characters in a more relaxed setting. Be sure to make a priority seating before you leave home. I love your outfit. Okay, so here we are, the Magic Kingdom Park. Somebody's <laughs> birthday. Hi. And there's no shortage of pixie dust for pint-sized people. But any theme park can be a little much on little legs. Good news, there are stroller rentals at the entrance to every park. So bonus number one, you don't have to bother with hauling yours around. And bonus number two, you can rent one for the length of your stay. Just show your receipt and go on your way. All right, now while you're here, there's some must-sees that you just shouldn't miss, like story time with Belle. If you've got a little actor or actress on your hands, this is a place to be. Your kids could get a chance to dress up and play a role in this fairy tale. Put a big circle around Mickey's Toontown Fair. It's full of special places for your little ones to explore. Mickey's house is here, Minnie's is here too. I want a pink house too. You'll have a chance to meet them in person, plus lots of other characters too. There's also a place where you can meet the Disney princesses in person. Tiaras are optional, but believing in magic, however, will be required. This is also where you find the Barnstormer at Goofy's Wiseacre Farm, a mini coaster made just for kids. To a preschooler, it's like Thrill Rides 101. And finally, there are these three. Consider them the trifecta of the tricycle set. First off, it's a magical spin on Dumbo. Then a chance to sing along with It's a Small World. And finally, it's off to Neverland on Peter Pan's flight. There's plenty of pixie dust to make everyone believe in magic. Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park is like your child's wildest dreams come true. At Festival of the Lion King, you and your little ones will love to sing along with Timon, Pumba, and all your favorites from the Lion King. Hey, look alive. You may be asked to take part in the show. And dig this, the Boneyard at Dinoland USA is a twisting play maze built around gigantic fossils. And all day long, there's a whole land where characters love to hang out. Camp Mini Mickey. Where have you been all my life? <laughs> And don't forget to stick around for Mickey's Jammin' Jungle Parade. It's a musical street party loaded with some of the biggest stars in the preschool universe. I love a girl with fashion and style. <laughs> okay, now imagine the oohs and ahs you'll all be sharing on Kilimanjaro safaris, filled with lions, zebras, elephants, and lots of other exotic animals. Hey, little cheetah. Where am I now? This is one of Disney's baby care centers. A great place to take a break, put your feet up, or fuel up for more adventure. I call it the mommy oasis, but that's a welcome too. The best news, there's one in every park. Ready for more fun? Let's go. The Disney Studios is just the ticket. If you have a Disney Channel fan in your hands, they absolutely have to check out Playhouse Disney live on stage, where they get to sing and dance with characters from Bear in a Big Blue House, Roly Poly Oli, Stanley, and more. Move it on. And look at this. Jojo and Goliath are here, too, signing autographs on Mickey Avenue. And you can also catch them at the Disney Stars and Motor Cars parades, along with lots of other Disney favorites. Time to say hello to Ariel. Oh, come on! The Voyage of the Little Mermaid is the ultimate under-the-sea adventure. And be sure to check out Beauty and the Beast live on stage, a Broadway-style production featuring characters and songs from the movie. I love that dress. 
Now, when you're in the park, keep another tip in mind. Say you're at the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, and you've got an older child who wants to ride. And a little tyke who definitely does not. Well, not a problem. See, on bigger, scarier rides, one grown-up can wait with the preschoolers, while another grown-up rides with bigger kids. And when it's over, whoever stayed behind can swap places and enjoy the ride, too, without any further waiting. Here at Epcot, there are kid-friendly surprises all over. Don't miss KidCot Fun Stops and special surprises just for kids, like Journey into Imagination with Figment, a chance for your kids to travel into the wacky workings of the Imagination Institute. And look out for that big red bus, too. Hey, you guys ready? Because here they come. It's Disney characters on holiday, the perfect opportunity for your kids to meet up with a whole gaggle of Disney favorites. At the Living Seas, your kids will have a chance to find Nemo and interact with a totally righteous crush in Turtle Talk, a show inspired by the Walt Disney Pictures presentation of the Pixar Animation Studios film Finding Nemo. You may have heard of it. Okay, so now it's time to head back to your resort room where Disney has a treat in store for kids and moms and dads too. Parents who want an evening out can also choose from in-room babysitting or Disney's kids clubs. A lot of the resorts have their own. That way the kids have fun, you have fun, and everyone has fun. At night when it's time to sleep, what better way to drift off than with a Disney bedtime story read by a favorite character? Your resort TV plays them every night. You know what happens next. They all live happily ever after. So will you, you'll see. When you visit with little guys who really believe in magic, it tends to rub off on the rest of us. Come on, let's go.